Sis here, oh, my toes. Scoot back a little bit so you don't hit nobody. <laughs> Get back a little bit, Zaire. Don't smack her with that. Be careful. What I heard was gunshots and it sound like a machine gun. Mary Little lives in the apartment closest to where DeJounte died. They was after her and she stood, he stood in front of her like this and he got the bullets and started running. For now, a grandmother, broken hearted and you can tell. People was out there, people talk, the streets talk. But every time the streets talk, they don't never get nobody. And that's what makes me upset even more. Twenty-five-year-old Destiny Layton is described by friends and family as a funny, bubbly, kind-hearted, caring, and compassionate young woman. Most importantly, she was a loving mother to her four beautiful children. One thing about Destiny, she always made sure her kids wanted for nothing. She was eight months pregnant with her fifth child and extremely excited about her new bundle of joy. Never could anyone have imagined the chain of events that would soon unfold. Around 9.45 p.m. on January 30th, Hampton, Virginia police were called to the first block of Salisbury Way, where officers would find a man and a woman, both outside, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. On a deadly triple shooting in Hampton. It wrapped up a violent month of January in the city. This happened Monday night on Salisbury Way, <clears throat> a man, woman, and her unborn child all died in the shooting. 10 on your side has learned more about the chain of events leading up to that gunfire. This is Salisbury Way in Hampton. On Monday night, a boyfriend and girlfriend came here to visit. There was gunshots. The man would die right here. The girlfriend would run for her life. The victims were identified as Newport News residents, 24-year-old DeJounte Nash, who was pronounced dead at the scene, and 25-year-old Destiny Layton, who was taken to a local hospital by members of the Hampton Division of Fire and Rescue to be treated for life-threatening injuries. Destiny, along with her unborn child, were sadly pronounced dead just a short time later. It's hard. It's really hard to know that he's gone. We just lost his mother a couple of years ago. Audrey Nash lost her grandson, 24-year-old DeJounte Nash. He and his girlfriend, Destiny Layton, who was eight months pregnant, were shot at the Bay Creek apartment complex in Hampton. He's never going to come through our door again. He's never going to call us, you know. He's never going to see his, his daughters again. His dad, his dad is going through some stuff right now. My son, that was his only child. This is a picture of DeJounte and his father. The grandmother admits DeJounte had been in trouble more than once. Did you ever talk to him and say, why do you keep getting into trouble? Of course. We begged him. Everybody, all of us begged him. DeJounte, get your life together. Destiny's mother gave us this picture telling us she loved people, that she was funny and bright, a big heart, leaves behind four beautiful children with the fifth about to be born, also died. Although it is unclear as to whether or not Destiny may have been involved in any type of shady activities connected to her murder, a Facebook post made by an individual referring to themselves as a big sister figure to Destiny stated the following. I was so mad with you, you knew it. I wanted you to be your best and for you to do your best because I knew you could. You deserved it. And most of all, the babies did. The smartest girl I know since I met you. You could have did anything. I never switched up the pressure on you until I stopped pressing you completely. Now I'm honestly like them because you consider me a big sis, made me the godmom to sincere and serenity. And even though I keep it real close with the babies and their grandmas to this very second, I left you to figure out the rest of your life because you weren't moving the way I thought you should. That wasn't right. Now it's too late. A different approach may not have changed anything, but you're gone. I'm still angry, but now at myself, to be honest. More could have, should have been done on my end as a big sis that you looked up to. Now it's too late. So it was very like, destiny? Of course it was sad, heartbreaking, but I was still trying to get over the fact that destiny died. Around 9.45 Monday night, Hampton Police Division detectives say a shooting happened at an apartment complex off West Mercury Boulevard. 
There, they found 25-year-old Destiny Layton and 24-year-old DeJounte Nash injured outside. Police say Layton was eight months pregnant at the time. And I just keep thinking about her kids because they're small and I think about her kids because I know that's all she thought about was her kids. In addition to her pregnancy, Layton also had four young children at home, according to a friend, Shirley Tisdale. Tisdale said she's known Layton for years. She said just before the shooting, Layton had shared a video of the two of them on Facebook. The day before. I think that's what really hurts me the most because that just makes me think like, damn, you got to start reaching out to people. You got to stop waiting for, you know, stuff to pop up. And In a press conference, the police chief provided an update of the case and took a moment to address the violence in the city, noting that nine people have died in seven shootings in the first month of 2023. 20 people have been shot in those shootings. Nobody deserves this, but especially not her. Not eight months pregnant either. A broken heart leading to many questions. I want to fall to my knees and just ask God, why me? You know, why is this happening? Why are we going through this? Ladaria Thomas, Layton's best friend of over a decade, just wants to know why. When I say Destiny was literally my rock, we lived next door to each other, so it wasn't a day that we didn't spend together. She was like a soulmate to me, like a sister. I spoke with Layton's mother, Alyssa Henry. As you can imagine, her world has turned completely upside down. But she remembers her daughter as someone who loved people. I have so many great memories with her that I will never think her name will die in my heart. Now leaving behind four other young children, Layton's loved ones say they have not told them yet what happened to their mother. But they are praying for the person who pulled the trigger to turn themselves in. It's unfortunate that my friend had to fall victim of something like this, but I believe in the justice system and I believe that the uh, chief of police will do everything possible to find the person responsible for this. As of right now, police did not offer any details about the circumstances surrounding the shooting or police are searching for any suspects. The case remains ongoing. Tragic and, and senseless crimes uh, that represents a lot of pain for families. In January alone, 20 people have been shot and nine killed in Hampton. That's half of the city's total number of homicides for all of 2021. They're going to see that we are deeply, deeply sorry that we didn't prevent these cases, uh, but we're, we're going to make up for it. Talbot calls the recent spike in violence alarming and says these shootings are not random. Our victims were targeted. He says with the help of federal and state agencies, they're taking an all hands approach. More patrols and partnering with neighborhood watch programs are two of the ways the division is trying to get a handle on the violence. There are folks out there who, who think that they are going to dominate these spaces and we will not let that happen. Hampton Mayor Donnie Tuck wants people to know they're doing their part to help tackle the problem. We made sure that our police division has resources that it needs to do its job, and there's no backing away from that. From the chief himself down to the newest rookies, Talbot says they will use the pain as motivation to bring safety and security back to the city. We will make sure that we do not have to live through a spike like this again. And part of that includes hearing from the people impacted, whether by calling the crime line anonymously or meeting with an officer in person just to talk. Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. Again, nine people have been shot and killed in Hampton this year. All of last year, 24 people were killed in shootings. The department says their homicide clearance rate from 2022 was a little better than 42%. The FBI says the national average is about 50%.